welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys this fun spring look and reviewing two new items by ColourPop from their spring 2019 collection. I picked up their palette and one of their Jelly Much shadows. They actually launched a huge amount this time. I'm looking up on their website here. They launched the palette. They launched six Jelly Much shadows. They also launched six Luxe lipsticks and six new blushes. Huge range this time around. It is kind of crazy. And as I'm actually filming this, it's gonna go up the same day, which is Thursday the 21st. <laughs> A new collection is already out by them, the Villains Disney Collection. I honestly can't even keep up with the, all of these ColourPop launches. It's getting a little bit overwhelming. So honestly, the last time I purchased something from ColourPop was nine months ago, and that was the foundation and powders review video that I did. So it's been a while. I've just been a little bit overwhelmed. There's just so many collections going out by them right now that I, I don't know, I just haven't picked anything up. Is anybody else on the same page with me that you're just overwhelmed so you haven't picked anything up? That is, of course, until this collection. Now, I was really intrigued by this palette because they have four different types of formulas within this palette that is a first for them. So I saw that and I got really excited and I wanted to test that out. So let me get you closer. This is the new palette, the Sweet Talk. It retails for $18 and you get 12 shades. Like I said, this does have four different formulas. So there's gonna be a Super Shock Shadow, pressed glitters, matte formulas, and I believe it's just a metallic shimmery uh, finish for the fourth one. So a cool little variety. I'm gonna go into some swatches in just a second, but let me first show you guys the new Jelly Much. So this is the Jelly Much little shadow carton here. Looks really cute. I only picked up one of them which this color was the one that intrigued me the most. Here's what it looks like. And then when you get into it, you just remove this little cap and there is your jelly shadow. So this one retails for $8 and I picked up the shade Photosynthesis and I'll just swatch that one first since I just have the one. And look at that intensity, that shade is beautiful. Ooh, that color was just so pretty and it was the one that really stood out to me that I don't have in my collection because I have three Stila liquid shadows here and they looked very close to those Jelly Mud shadows of these swatches that I saw online. So I wanted something different. So that's why I grabbed this shade. I wanted something outside of the box. And then now let me just give you guys some real quick swatches of this one. I'm not gonna do live swatches because that'll take a little minute. So I'll just swatch them out on my arm really fast and then tell you guys which the different formulas are. So here is the entire palette swatched out. And this is the new Super Shock Shadow right over here. Best application they say is to use your fingertips and whoopsie, I'm staining it here at the bottom. That's my bad. And then, you know, classic formulas. Then we have the two glitters over here. The first one is of a more chunkier glitter. It's a little bit larger in the flakes than this one over here, which this one has a more pink tone and that one's more of a gold with a lot more finer glitter inside of it. And then after that, it's just the rest of the mattes and metallics. And my game plan for today's look is to first go into showing guys how I created this eyeshadow look and then tell you guys my final thoughts at the end. But before I get into that, I do wanna let you guys know that this is not a first impressions. So this is actually gonna be my third eyeshadow look that I'm creating with this palette. I had recorded an entire video. I created two eyeshadow looks. I did one look on each eye, did the entire thing, and then I realized I had something on my face the entire time. I was just like, no. I ended up scrapping the entire video. I couldn't in good conscience post it up. I knew it was there. I would have stared at it too and just been like, what the? 
lady, like, you're posting this? So I decided to scrap that. I do already have a opinion on this palette and after today's look that is a little bit more solidified. So you're getting a pretty well-rounded review here. This is just not a first impressions, not just testing it out. I've tested out almost all of the shadows now, yeah. So I have a very good solid opinion about this palette, which I will go into at the end. So let me first jump off into showing you guys how I created this look. Getting right into it, I have already primed my lid with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. That is my usual, no surprise there. Now, let's dip into the palette. The first shade I'm gonna be working with is the shade called Work It. Mm, mm, you see what I did there? <laughs> Ooh, I got those dad jokes for days. I'm just gonna work this in using my Luxie 121, the mini little blending brush. And I'm gonna use this and work it in that C shape on the lid since it's gonna be a halo look today. I was just feeling the inspiration. I think it actually turned out pretty gosh darn cool. And with this brush, I just feel like I have a little bit more control working the shade in for this specific eye look since I have a very small eyelid, kind of helps out. And then once you feel like that shade is evenly distributed all the way around, we'll take a little bit more of that same shade, but this time on my Real Techniques, no, hold on, wrong brush. <laughs> this is the Moda brush, the medium eye shader. I'm just gonna work this all the way across on the lower lash line making sure I really bring that color all the way across. Then I wanted to add a little splash of that corally color. So I'm going in with a shade right here called Meadow, which is just a really gorgeous coral shade. And I'm packing it on first on the outer corner, kind of blending it in with teeny tiny little back and forth motions. And then reloading up the brush and going in on the inner corner and packing that on. Once I have it on both sides, I will just drag that color across to meet up top here. You know, starting to create that halo shape. And depending on the intensity, I might go back in with just a little bit more of that corally shade and build it up a little bit. And then same shade, but this time Luxie 111 brush. I'm just gonna work this in on the lower lash line. This time keeping the color really close to the lower lash line. Like I always kind of do that first initial shade is more fluffed out, the second shade closer, and then the last shade is really tight to that lower lash line. That's my usual routine for the lower lash line. It's pretty simple, at least on the lower lash line. I don't like to overcomplicate things. The next move I wanna make is take the Feel Free shade over here. Be careful with that one, it does have a quite a bit of fallout, so you gotta make sure you really tap off your brush with that. And I'm gonna place that on with my Morphe Y15 brush. I'm gonna use a little teeny tiny packing motions, kind of the same method as with the Corly shade, both on the outer and the inner. I'm using the lightest of tapping motions, just gradually building that up. Oops, got a little bit of fallout there. I'm gonna whisk that away. And then once I have it tapped on both sides, I'll just switch up the brush. I'm gonna use my Sigma E36, the really tiny, teeny little blending brush, and I'm gonna use that to connect across up top. Just start blending that shade out a little bit. And you guys, I want to mention it now so that way you can see it, but there is some patchiness with this shade. Let me get closer. So this has been repeatedly happening, but it starts to just form a patchiness with the shade. I don't know what it is, but it happens every single time now that I play with this palette. Yeah, I'll get into that a little bit more once I start kind of going over all of the shadows though, but I wanted to point that out so you guys know what I'm referring to. So let's continue on. We're just gonna move past that because there's nothing I can do. I sit here and blend for forever and it does not budge. So I'm gonna take that same E, 36 brush and run this really close to that lower lash line Just finish up the lower lash line here. Now let's move into something a little bit more exciting here I'm gonna use the ColourPop Jelly Much Shadow in photosynthesis and I'm gonna pick up some of this shade 
just from the little cap. And I just kind of help work it into the brush on the back of my hand here, just so it gets like a nice even coverage. This is, by the way, my Bare Minerals Max Coverage Concealer Brush. And I know what you're thinking, Nessa, you haven't cut the crease yet. You haven't created that halo shape, but watch. Ooh, boom. You don't even need to go in with concealer with a shade. The intensity is there. I love it. So I'm just gonna use this to create that halo shape. So I'm being a little bit more delicate with it. Ooh, yes. I love that. And then I'll just dip back into the palette a little bit here and there and kind of work the edges. So I'll go back in with that meadow shade. And I'm just gonna start stamping on the outer edges here of that color just so we help blend that shade in with the rest of the shadow. Make sure we got no harsh lines here. So just doing that on both sides. And then I'll dip into a little bit more of that Feel Free shade with the E36 brush and work that along the edge of that meadow shade and help deepen up the crease a little bit more out here. Same with the inner part. And then I will just connect it over with whatever is left of the product, run along the edge of that jelly much shade. So cute. And then I just have two more steps. I want to put a little bit of glitter. Oops, I was almost about to go in with my finger, which it does work, but you get a little bit of a better payoff going in with a brush. That's just my opinion. This is the Prima Drama shade. And I'll just use the edge of the brush to just lightly, whoops, pop some glitter just right down the center. Just want a little bit here. I'm gonna remove the stuff that fell into the lashes. And then the last and final step, I'm gonna take a little bit of the side to side shade and just pop that in the inner corner. Do a little bit of highlighting and pop a little bit up here on the brow bone too. And there we go. Now just to finish things off, I'm gonna take a little bit of mascara. This is the NYX Worth the Hype. Just gonna coat up the top and the bottom lashes. And then for lashes, I'm gonna be going in with my Violet Voss, oops, <laughs> in Just Slayin'. And this is the final look. So now that you have seen me create this eye look, let me tell you guys my final thoughts on these two items. I'm gonna get started with the palette first. And I do have quite a lot of opinions about this. So let's start off with the pros. And the pros are that this palette is absolutely stunning. I think the color scheme, they knocked it out of the park. The Pantone color of the year is coral, so I think a lot of people are really drawn to this color scheme. You see it and you're just like, ooh, I want it. I want to create spring looks with it. As far as the four new formulas, the side to side shade, which has that jelly touch to it, is a really pretty shade. This one is more of a topper shade, so if you put it on really concentrated on your hand. Yeah, you see a lot of color, but if you go in to put it over the lid, it's more of a sheer look. So I recommend using that as a topper for another shade. Like, let me try to put it over that Garden Gate shade. Just pop a little bit on top. Kind of helps to transform the colors a little bit. I should have been way closer. That is my bad. So it's more of a color enhancer, so that's something to keep in mind. The glitter shades, I was pleasantly surprised with. I am usually not a fan of the glitter shades that they put inside of the palettes. Just something about the adhesive. It doesn't really work out. It seems like it's more of a kind of a Vaseline in a way where the color after a while starts to slip and slide and you see creases throughout the lid and the glitter just goes everywhere and nothing stays put. I mean, it looked absolutely awful, but whatever adhesive they actually ended up using for these, it stays put. So I was pleasantly surprised when I did have my little mishap eyeshadow <laughs> application. I did keep wearing it and the glitters stayed put. They locked into place. I even tried pressing over it with my fingers and it stayed put. Nothing was wet. Everything seemed like it had dried down. So A, 
plus for the glitter formula. The only thing you'll notice is just a few trickles of that glitter falling down a little bit here and there. So for the new formulas, I think they did a really good job. Where they fell short for me was in their original pressed powder formula. I don't understand. I mean, I've tested it out a few different times now in this feel-free shade. It's just patchy. Patchy, 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 patchy. Oh my gosh. It was so frustrating. And the first time it happened, I thought it had something to do with the glitter, which I think it didn't really help. I had glitter all over the lid. I tried to go in with the shade Feel Free to kind of blend it in on the edges. Horror story. Oh my gosh. It deepened up really dark where I guess that adhesive was kind of left over. Really light the edges where there was no adhesive. Awful. I mean, that might have been my mistake right there. You probably shouldn't put it over whatever adhesive they use in it. You should probably just have the glitter be the final touch, but I mean, I like to kind of detail around things and make everything merge together. So, you know, you just have to be a little bit more gentle maybe with using the glitters and maneuver them in a way that you don't need to touch up with such a dark shade. And I thought that was it, but Again, today the patchiness continues, just something about the shade. I don't know what it is. I can't make it work, which is really unfortunate because I do really enjoy the rest of the colors within this palette. It's just this one shade, which is very sad to me because sometimes, you know, one shade can ruin it for the rest of them. I have a palette that I have one shade that gets patchy. I don't reach for it because I know that shade doesn't work for me, so I just kind of put it out of my mind. So I know myself and the fact that this one shade is patchy, yes, maybe I'll doubt dabble in with some of these other shades, but if I were to repurchase this again, like I was watching my own review, and I was one of you guys, I would probably skip over this palette just because I wouldn't want to go into it knowing that one of the shades isn't going to work. Which is why I then saved the ColourPop Jelly Much Shadow for last because I was saving the best for last here. This to me is 100% worth it. Oh my gosh such a good formula for this jelly shadow. I didn't even need to cut the crease when creating this halo eye. I also did another eye look where I just did like a half lid color, used this jelly shadow, didn't need to put concealer down as a base or anything. It looks stunning and it's so easy to work with, so pigmented. I would love to see them do this kind of a formula in one of those little wand applicators like the Stila liquid shadows just for the ease and convenience of having the wand instead of the pot. I think that would be really cool but even just in the pot I think these are really amazing and eight bucks I mean, that has me sold. I really enjoy these. That is actually gonna be where I wrap up today's video. I know it took a surprise turn here at the end, but I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Me telling you guys about the new ColourPop Spring Collection, creating this fun kind of spring fun eye. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!